Now when it comes to working offline, as you can see that I am here, and let's say I have a slow internet connection or a dial-up, and I've got some emails that people were going to be sending me and I want to be able to download them. The problem I could run into with a slow internet connection is that, let's say one of my buddies or coworkers sends me a huge MP3 file, like let's say 20 megabytes. Well, I don't want to download that on a slow internet connection. I just want to download those things that won't take up a lot of time and then I could probably get too quickly. So what you can do is you can actually connect to the Exchange server and view all the emails, their headers here, or their subjects. And then based upon the subject, you can go ahead and mark the ones you want to download and then go ahead and hit the button and it'll download just those items that you marked, leaving those big email messages or those less important messages online until you get back to the company office and you can download them faster there. So to get started, come up here and click on the Send and Receive drop-down arrow and go down and click on Download Headers in this folder. When I click on it, it'll connect to the Exchange server there and then give it a second or two while it updates. Go down to Download Headers in this folder and click on it. Give it a second or two while it logs on and it checks for those messages. And there they are. Now how do I know that it just downloaded the headers? Because over in this column here, where it's the header status, I got little icons. So what it downloaded is just the subject here, how many are signing up. This is from Carrie. This other one's from Carrie, but it has an attachment. So I'm like, uh, I don't want to do that. I have a slow internet connection, so I don't want to download that. But I do want to download the uh, first one, how many are signing up. It's really simple. All you have to do is go ahead and right click on the message and go down to mark to download message. When you click on it, that little icon has a little arrow pointing down. So this one will be downloaded when I go to the next step. And that's coming back up here, clicking on the send and receive drop down arrow, and then coming down here and selecting process marked headers in this folder. When I click on it, those headers that have been marked will be downloaded. So this one's downloaded in full. I can double click to open it up, go ahead and read it. Hey, that's nice. She kept it short. And then of course later on when I get connected back at the office or to a faster internet connection, then I can go ahead and download the rest of these here. In fact, let's go ahead and click on the drop down arrow and uncheck work offline. So we're connected back on the exchange server. And then I'll just go ahead and click send and receive. And then this one disappears because now it's been downloaded or synced up to the corporate computer and I've got the full message here with, with its attachment. I can double click, open it up, and then of course open up the attachment. Now if you need to download the global address list or a global address book with um, full details, I don't know if you saw it, but click on the drop down arrow, send receive to download address book. Click on that and check what you would like if you want full details or no details, and then click OK. And then of course come up here and click on the address book and it should have a copy stored locally on your computer. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.